I think that uh, Barbiere di Siviglia is one of the most well-known operas in the world. I think that everybody enjoys to see the plot of this very funny, funny story and with a brilliant music. So that's why I choose this opera to present it to you all who are looking at us now and I think you will enjoy it as I enjoyed in staging this opera. I would say, I must remember that before that an opera it was a play by Beaumarchais, but I think that the opera is absolutely amazing. I think that you must follow what Rossini and uh, Beaumarchais, who inspired this libretto, wanted to say, wanted to tell with this story. They just wanted to have fun. They made a, a comic opera. What I would say, more than opera buffa. It's more than that. It's a comic opera with a lot of funny situations, with the qui pro quo that come all the time. <laughs> Il bel signor Figaro. Oh, gran cosa, signorina. Sì, davvero. Mangiare nei confetti. Come sarebbe a dire? Sarebbe a dire che il vostro bel tutore ha stabilito a essere dentro domani vostro marito. <ride> e via. Oh, ve lo giuro, a stendere il contratto col maestro di musica là dentro si è serrato. Sì. In the pit. We oh, have, first of all, at the head of the Orchestre uh, de l'Opéra Royal de Wallonie of Liège, we have the Maestro Paolo Arrivabeni, who is well known uh, all over the world. He, he just conducted in a, at the Met Rigoletto with a tremendous success. We have on the stage a fantastic uh, Figaro, who is the barber of Seville, which is Nicola Laimo. And uh, he, we know that Nicola Laimo is the favorite, one of the favorite singers of Maestro Riccardo Muti. We have one of the greatest Bartolos in the world, which sings uh, at La Scala, uh, in Paris, everywhere in the, in the world, Bruno de Simone. We have a fantastic Rosina, Sumi Jo, a coloratura soprano with a fantastic uh, grizzling voice. Basilio of Carlo Lepore, Berta by uh, Alexis Yerna, and a gorgeous, great tenor who is going to sing the famous two arias at the end of the opera, which practically no tenor in the world sings, Cessa di più resistere, all the uh, amateur of opera know these tunes and it's Sergei Romanovsky who sang recently at La Scala. The soprano is going to sing an aria which Rossini added afterwards he had written uh, Barbara Seville. Uh, he, he wrote it uh, just for a soprano who I don't remember who it was, but a famous soprano of, of his times. And he wrote this aria. And now we add this aria, and it's just before the Tempest. And it's a very, very, very difficult aria with very, very high notes. So don't miss it and follow all the opera, because at the, after the, before the Tempest you have the aria of the soprano add aria and at the end you have the two arias of the tenor just at the end <laughs> Senti, senti,